With every breath I feel alive I got a lot of Let's go! Mobile Legends with the gamepad. Uh, let's see, can we play this game with the gamepad Apex 2? Assalamu alaikum, welcome guys, welcome, welcome back. So, uh, you'll have the tutorial by the end of this video. First, we're gonna show you, uh, obviously, the gameplay uh, with this game, Mobile Legends, using the ROG5, which you can see by itself on the bottom uh, left uh, corner. Yeah, bottom left corner. Uh, using the Apex 2, using 4K TV and USB hub to connect it with my phone. All the buying links will be in the description. Here we go guys, here we go, here we go, uh, beautiful, by the way I'm playing, playing obviously this game at maximum graphics, let me just put it down, it's a little bit loud here, just a minute, yeah that's fine, I think this is fine, wow man, check it out ninjas, full control, full control, and I think most of the, plus check it out ninja, I'm gonna try to upgrade, uh, let me see, yeah, i done it, see, i done it. <laughs> let me see, can I tag this dude over here? No, I don't think I'll manage to. Help me out bro, help me out. Awesome, 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 awesome. Done. It looks awesome. This is the first time I'm playing Mobile Legends over the TV uh, with the gamepad, guys, or Android setup. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful here. Check it out the control. Let me just be here on the right side. So you can guys see that I'm playing it here with the... Check this out. <laughs> it's awesome. It's seriously awesome. You can uh, also upgrade again. I don't know about them. I can also there purchase the stuff if I want to do. Wait a minute. I think it's uh, it's I think it's Z and C. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so you can see myself. I think all. Uh, I mean everything. I think everything which you see. Also the options, the map, uh, the settings. You can also add that. Uh, uh, all the things over here. Every everything everything which you see on the screen. You can assemble it. Uh, add it. For sorry for that. Let me just see here the frame rate. That. I'm gonna just put it here. Yeah. So you guys can see best by itself. It's maximum running at maximum frame rate, 60 FPS. Oh man, you just lay down. You just lay down on your sofa or on your bed, and you can play Mobile Legends with your smartphone, making a small mini console uh, connected to your 4K TV. Ooh, that was that was crazy. Okay. Just to see some Facebook message, what the heck? <laughs> anyway, let's upgrade. Let's return. You can see that stuff? Every single action, every single action you can assemble here with the Mobile Legends. Beautiful. But I think right now the League of Legends uh, Wild, Rift, Wild Rift is more popular than the Mobile Legends, I think so. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no! They... Look, look how they're waiting. Sneaky, sneaky. Interesting back. Wow. Full support of the whole map, guys. With the, what, the with the, just with the analog stick here. Check this out. And it's very sensitive. And 
very fluent basically it's it's good i don't have any problems whatsoever so far with this gamepad uh assembling everything i repeat again uh depends of you uh, this uh, gamepad has a fly dg uh, application mapping application and you can obviously customize by yourself the action itself so uh, in the video i'm going to show you in the tutorial we're going to show you generic oh no no generic tutorial uh, i'm not going to show you for exactly this game uh, because uh, i think most of you will have a different setup for the action i'll just show you how you're gonna basically go through the this mapping app and add games map games map, map the controls to the games itself okay this one i'm going to show you in this video by the end of this video Let's go, let's go attack him. Ooh. Did, I, did I kill him? Nice, double kill. Let's go, let's go. Huh? Hey, uh, this guy is very weak. He's very weak. This guy is very weak. Doesn't have a really good death defense. Anyway, I think that should be it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, small gameplay. Uh, over the ROG 5 Snapdragon 888 maximum graphics. Uh, I repeat again, I will be leaving the buying links in the description. So far, ROG 5 and uh, OnePlus 8 or OnePlus 9 are the best choices if you want to have this similar setup. Uh, I would advise you to buy these smartphones, guys. Uh, Xiaomi devices, unfortunately, do not have an HDMI video output. Uh, I'm not sure about the Mi 11 Ultra, but Mi 11 didn't have it. So, uh, and all previous Xiaomi devices didn't have it, unfortunately. So yes, remember that only flagship Huawei devices have uh, OnePlus devices, well, flagship Huawei uh, OnePlus devices, and ROG smartphones. I think that, yeah, Red Magic also. Red Magic also has a video output. Anyway, let's, let's go with the tutorial. Awesome. Okay, so now we'll be showing you how we are playing these games with this gamepad, guys. Uh, you need to install yourself an application which is called FlyDigi. Uh, we're going to exit right now everything quickly here. We're going to go here to uh, Play Store. Okay, and this is the FlyDigi app, guys. FlyDigi Game Center app. This, just basically download yourself this app. Open it. And from here, guys, you can access, uh, you can access uh, different games. I mean, you can add every single game which you have. Uh, I repeat again, some games they do have on default gamepad support. Not so many games have a gamepad support. I mean, most of the games don't have a gamepad support. So that's why you need to have this kind of gamepad and the application itself. From here, obviously, you're going to access and you're going to pair it through this application via Bluetooth uh, application. And remember always to uh, upgrade your gamepad, your basically your gamepad software. It's already updated the latest for the Fly, Fly DG Apex 2, okay? So now, uh, if you want to add, you add the games from here. Simple, guys. Like see by yourself, I don't add the Arc. I'm not gonna add Assault 9. These games have a gamepad default support, okay? So now we're gonna go to the Fly DG, uh, to the, uh, of course, uh, Wild Drift. And from here, I'm gonna just move here. You can see by yourself, I'm playing it right now with the gamepad. Which is insane, a mobile game, Ninjas. I will also try to do this uh, test with the Mobile Legends, but with the Wild Drift, Wild Drift, it's working just fine. So, uh, how are you gonna assemble all of this? And where in the heck the buttons, how you do this? So on the top corner, or it's usually here on the right side, top right side, you have this Fly DG icon, guys. Tap this Fly DG icon, and from here you're gonna access uh, basically uh, the customization button so you go to edit you can add uh, for every single game a different obviously profile and I would suggest you to do that if you are playing these games uh, frequently okay let me just exit sorry for that I'm gonna just exit here cancel 
okay they will kick me out bloody them so you're gonna go to edit and from here you can see by itself you assemble uh, the actions of the gamepad to each action you want so you can see by itself that most of the things i could add but obviously some of the things are still missing the map these three options option mute and microphone you could do that and also here some alert uh, actions you can add uh, these functions all together Beautiful, isn't it? Seriously, it's beautiful. So it's simple, guys. So you just drag. Example, the arrows I use for the upgrades. The arrows I use for the upgrades. There you go. You can see by itself. So I use them. Just uh, the arrows I use for the upgrades. After you finish that, you just simply tap here, save. And that's it. That's it. Simple like that. After that, you just use the save. Remember to uh, obviously assemble uh, for each action one single button, but for some actions you can even uh, assemble the same button for two actions. Why? Because you can, example, uh, do this action and example, open the map in the same time. Th that's not going to be any problem. That's gonna, not going to be any problem example, okay? So yeah, that's it. That's a very short tutorial. I repeat again, if you want to hide these options or show them, if you want to see here, you have an option here to show the buttons. And you can see by yourself, the buttons are shown right now for which action are they are they here yeah beautiful so now we're gonna again disable them show them back you can go here to back to the screen and you're gonna go again which is really good the game uh, the fly dg app doesn't close the game which is really good that's that's really good and always have in mind that uh, uh, have it always active in the background this is very important so it doesn't close your game that is very very important from here, recommendation, we have some applications, blah, 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 that is fun. Extensions, you can see by stuff here, these are the extensions, the buttons on the back, R1, R3, L3, select and menu. All together, you can also assemble all these buttons to the action, which is again, insane, guys. Insane, insane, insane. Anyway, so that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, this was the tutorial for the Apex, a very simple tutorial for these games which you see on my YouTube channel, these videos which I'm testing. Games, Android games that don't have a, a gamepad support on default. You will have to yourself, buy yourself uh, Apex 2 uh, and FlyDG app if you want to have uh, the pro gaming experience. Beautiful. By the way, I'm having here ROG5 with the uh, USB hub, HDMI USB hub, which has uh, three USB ports, Type-C USB port, it has LAN, uh, it has SD card expansion, and HDMI, and HDMI. Also, link for this product will be in the description. I will be leaving that, okay? Ventune, this is Ventune. You don't have to buy exactly this one, but I will leave the links in the description for these kind of USB adapters, HDMI adapters. Thank you for watching. Long video, I know, but I think you're gonna be happy about this. Beautiful.